I feel like a monster and a beast, man, over here. When I get on this bike, man, I feel like I'm about to get out on the street and go be a goddamn delinquent. What's going on guys, Roll King Sino here bringing you another quick episode of the Dirty Left Shoe Chronicles. You dig? I've been getting a little bit of feedback and a little bit of questions um, from Facebook forums, a few Facebook forums that I'm on um, asking would I do a mods video or could I do a mods list. A lot of them don't know that I actually have a YouTube so I figured that would be a good opportunity to make a video for all my subscribers and all the people who are inquisitive about the mods for this bike. A lot of people like it to be honest but I think people are still a little confused about what it is, what kind of bike it is and like where it came from, like who made it. I'm not going to go in a whole bunch of detail about what this bike is but I do have another video up talking about the Suzuki BK and exactly what it is. As you heard me say before and as people know, you know, I always kind of poke fun at my Suzuki BK because it seems like it gets minimum feedback and minimum love on all my social media platforms. And I don't know, the lack of love could be because it's minimum content out there on this bike. Um, lack of love could be because, you know, it's not a whole lot of information just in general, even when you Google outside of what it is. And when it comes down to content on YouTube, even on our uh, Facebook, Instagram, and those other platforms. So that could be why it gets minimum love. I don't know, guys. I could make crappy videos about it for all I know. You guys tell me in the comment section below. Out of all the bikes that I've actually owned, believe it or not, this is, I say, one of my top three bikes that I've owned. You know what I mean? As far as that I really like and enjoy to ride. Like, I have a whole lot of fun with this bike. You know what I mean? It can get you in some trouble. I'm not going to lie. A bike like this, if you're not reserved and got pristine riding skills to an extent, this bike will fold your ass up like a picnic table. Believe that. All right, so enough of the talking. You here to hear about the mods of this bike. Let me go ahead and give it to you. To start off, as you can see, it's got a gray paint job. The color is Nardo gray uh, with red accents. Decal, decals, Dirty Left Shoe Crew um, decal, B-King decal, um, red accents. Uh, with a carbon fiber decal um, too. Uh, it's got red wheels as you can see. Um, Galfa Way rotors in the front. And sorry guys, so dirty. The bike really is dirty because I do a lot of riding with it. Uh, those, um, those stock wheels, of course, like I said, they're red wrapped in, as you can see, Shinko Apex tires front and back. They pretty sticky for what they for what they are. I just kind of grabbed what I could get my hands on at the time. Renthal aftermarket handlebars, Vortex bar grips, um, shorty levers, LED headlight, um, LED side markers, and a full LED uh, light kit that I installed. I got mirrors on here. These mirrors are nothing spectacular. A lot of people asked about it. I think I seen on a forum recently uh, about these mirrors. They're just some Amazon mirrors, to be honest. There's nothing fancy about them. They are uh, 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 a generic brand. They're actually bar end mirrors that I took the bar end piece that actually mounts inside or that you actually put on the bar end and I just clamped them to the inside of my bars. As far as your field of view, they're not super functional, but they give me just enough to know if I can get over in the left lane or if I can get over in the right lane. You're not going to see the whole world behind you unless you've got a different setup of aftermarket mirrors. Yoshi mirror exhaust, just to slip on particularly, I don't really like the exhaust. It came with the bike. It's got like a little sun bleach or sunburn with it. I actually might be changing it up. The thing about it with this, with this bike, it's not a lot of exhaust options out there as far as the Undertale, the original Undertale setup. So if you're going aftermarket, you don't have a whole lot of choices outside of getting something custom done or actually taking and putting on a, um, a, a, an exhaust from a Hayabusa. Me, that's what I plan on doing i'm not sure if i'm gonna go the custom route or if i'm just gonna go ahead and just get a high boost exhaust and put it on there but these slip-ons might be for sale soon i'll keep you all posted at least my guys out there my people out there who own b kings i got some carbon fiber accents 
uh, I'm not sure what this piece is called, but I'll call it um, ignition and gas cap housing, uh, carbon fiber here, um, seat cow, passenger seat cow, carbon fiber, and this section, which is just like a little, um, just a, another piece of plastic or cow, you know, extended part of the seat cow, um, carbon fiber as well. Carbon fiber rear, rear wheel fender. Also, another thing about these bikes that people who own the B-Kings know is that this tank looks massive. If you look at this tank, take a look at this tank. Like, it looks very, very massive, but it's actually not. This tank is a lot smaller than your high booster tank. Um, I can't go, I can't tell you offhand uh, how many gallons it holds. I'll probably try and put it in a video or link it in a video, but it's actually a small tank. It just looks big because of these pods on the side. These pods detach, you know what I mean? It's just really a piece of plastic. For this particular bike is different from the Hayabusa because Hayabusa has your Ram air ducts and everything right there for you. These have what you would think are Ram air ducts, but it's actually just, you know, a, a pod. You know what I mean? Plastic pod or whatever. If you look at it from the outside, you would think that it, you know, has some type of Ram air induction um what have you what a lot of people do, do that own these b kings is they do an airbox mod to it i just say for simple terms they open up on the diameter of the holes of the air box and route piping so air is able to come in through these pods and it's it's, it's got some sort of ram air uh, effect so i got that done to it with that i also got the ecu flash too and i got the ecu flash to basically all the high boost specs so it's running and feeling like it's pretty much a high booster completely different bike don't get me wrong um, with the exception of it having a 1340 motor this thing i've owned three four other high boosters I, I think three or four i can't remember the exact number but this bike runs completely different than that you know stance the way it sits you know what i mean aesthetics and everything of it is completely different but it's a beast man you know what i mean i cannot lie man it's definitely a beast another thing that i did that for me was a must was the suspension was really soft for me so what i did is i actually got um high booster front forks on there and i got a high booster rear shock on there uh i'm 200 plus pounds i'm not giving you an exact weight because it fluctuates i fluctuate between around 205 and sometimes 220 as high as 225 sometimes but for me the high booster suspension um in the front and rear it's like night and day for this bike with the rear shock on it the back end sits up a little bit higher uh it's definitely a little more range as far as adjustment you can make it a little bit more stiffer for your weight me i like it it might not be for everyone uh, i would say go according to your weight but it was a great upgrade for what i use the bike for uh yes the bike does willie for people who want to know and people who ask about it i get that all the time it's like willie and you know what i mean something as heavy as a high booster the bike comes up in willies with no problem but if you don't know what you're doing you will get your ass folded so don't be that guy you guys let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more videos about this bike you know, I know, like I said, I know she get minimum amounts of love, man. Nobody might not love Young Thriller like that, man, but I got love for Young Thriller. Hey, I feel like a monster and a beast, man, over here. When I get on this bike, man, I feel like I'm about to get out on the street and go be a goddamn delinquent. Anybody else who owns this bike, they gotta know the feeling, man. Just don't go out there trying to do supreme badass things and your skills aren't certified to be able to pull that shit off because you will get folded up. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and most of all, share. I appreciate all the love. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.